Now to incredible new video from that motorcycle chase. Major speeds tonight. You get a real sense of just how dangerous it was for drivers and deputies there on the road. Take a look at the chase that ripped across 70 miles of road. It started on the Dallas North Tollway, ended on I-20 in Arlington, and state troopers trying to stop him couldn't keep up at 180 mile, 89 miles an hour. Tonight, NBC5 has been Russell live in Dallas with a closer look at the video and the end of the high speed mess. Ben? Meredith, to give you some perspective, that amazing video everyone has seen, well, that was shot from right about here, directly across I-35 from the American Airlines Center. And given how fast that motorcycle was going, it makes these cars on I-35 here look like me, like they're standing still. This is what you've seen already. A man on a motorcycle leaving pursuing police in the dust. This trooper is at least 10 seconds behind. This is what only NBC5 can show you tonight. We can take you along for the ride with the Dallas County Sheriff's Department on this seven city chase. Deputies and troopers barely able to catch up. You can't even see the motorcycle from this dash camera mounted on the second vehicle in the pursuit. It isn't until Arlington, after the biker exited and looped around, and this deputy stops on the shoulder, that we finally see the bike come through the fray. That's him, the single red taillight. It's only two minutes later when his 4.8 gallon tank runs dry that it finally ends. And a Dallas County Sheriff's deputy takes him to the ground. How fast were you going? 189 when we were in the straights. If you want to go fast, this is a bike to have. That bike, the Suzuki GSXR 1000. Pretty popular. The owner of Southwest Superbikes tells NBC5 189 is just about its top speed. But the thing is, they're not meant to do it on public streets. I mean, there's just too much that can happen. You know, he went to jail, but, you know, could have been a lot worse than that. A lot worse than that because of these cars on the highway at the time of this pursuit. Now, tonight we know from the Dallas County Sheriff's Department, William Fole of Dallas is still behind bars in lieu of $25,000 bond. Live in Dallas, Ben Russell, NBC5. Thank you, Ben. A quick fact check on the speed. The motorcycle driver claimed he was going about 189 miles an hour. Well, law officers we talked to say they're not so sure. They think it was more like 140. Still, they pointed out, a squad car tops out at about 140 miles an hour. And get this, DPD's police helicopter probably hits about 120 miles an hour. Unbelievable how fast they can go. Yeah, remarkable pictures no there. Kidding.